Marilyn Manson, a shock rocker, an icon for the outcasts, over two decades of depravity and outlandish behavior on stage, undeniably a household name, and undeniably an artist who lives for controversy. So what happens when that controversy is off stage and extremely harmful? For almost a full year, ever since many accusations, lawsuits, and now police raids have occurred, it's become clear that the man who was known to intentionally offend people with his antics is now in the spotlight for his behavior toward women in past relationships, and it's awful. Manson has never shied away from hiding his outlandish behavior and lifestyle. Ever. In fact, Manson's diehard fans, along with most of the media, has either excused it or tied it to part of his identity. After a plethora of legal charges and arrests over the years, along with many statements and testimonies of first-hand experiences by other musicians that have worked with Manson, it's not hard to find instances of chaotic and offensive behavior that Warner has promoted under the Manson persona he lives every day. That behavior had an appeal, and with that shock appeal and being a celebrity, Manson has also had many romantic partners over the years, and it's over the past year that that many of the women who have been in committed relationships with Manson have come forward with their statements of exactly what happened, now resulting in an avalanche of lawsuits and legal charges. I'm dancing around the specific and graphic details of everything Manson has done, because if I get too descriptive, YouTube will demonetize and flag this video. I want this video seen and to make the point about Manson. But if you're interested in the step-by-step -step of everything that has happened, Loudwire has constructed a timeline of everything that has gone on, and the YouTube channel Rockfeed also has put out many videos on Manson as up-to-date pieces. Both links are in the description below. It was several months ago when the accusations from many women were coming out, along with confirming statements from musicians that Manson is beyond problematic. Many of Manson's die-hard fan base started calling this a witch hunt, a product of cancel culture, and many started giving the classic cry of innocence until proven guilty. I addressed it back then on the podcast by saying, Sorry, there are going to be some of you in the chat, some of you on the comment section, many of you listening at home. We'll be, pl like, we'll be saying the situation of, hey, what happened to innocent until proven guilty? What happened to fair justice in a court trial and studies and things like that? We don't know. We weren't there. My direct response to that is, well, you're going to get your wish. As of to -do -to -do, this morning, I believe if that's correct, the state senator of California, Susan Rubio, has submitted a formal request to the U.S. Department of Justice for the FBI to investigate. During the past week of writing and making this video, Warner's house was recently raided days ago by the LA County Sheriff using a search warrant obtaining hard drives and other media devices. The FBI is still actively looking into several cases that are related to several women giving explicit detail of how they were manipulated and abused by Manson. Before answering anything, I want to point out that Manson has admitted to much of the behavior he is being accused of by former partners. His explanation was that it was 100% consensual. By him saying that, he confirmed the behavior he was accused of, including the bad girl's room. Ugh, monstrous. Also, by reading his statement about his lifestyle and confirming everything that happened he was accused of, it shows, one, he is not ashamed of his past behavior, and two, he is absolutely a manipulator and abuser and possible groomer. Consent is not okay if one party feels forced or pressured into consenting. That is not how consent works. I'm positive more will come to light on this mess, and I hope the victims over the years by Manson are able to get the justice they deserve, but the main question now that I have for everyone watching is, should Marilyn Manson be canceled? Should we forget about Marilyn Manson? With everything we have known about Manson over the years and what we see now, those are fair questions. I posted this question on the YouTube community page with a poll. The results were interesting, as were some of the... the... Uh, arguments. Calling them arguments is being generous. Some people really have weird thoughts and defenses on this one. Let's cut right to it. In 2021, the diehard fanbase is not lavishing praise on Manson's last few years of material. They are cherishing the turn of the century where Manson was iconic on MTV and trying to be repulsive at live shows. Keep in mind that this is the man who would ask fans to spit on his bare chest during shows in the late 90s. Manson's behavior has almost always overshadowed his music, or at least for a majority of the world it has. What Marilyn Manson represented to a counterculture of dark and morbid art through music was also extremely important to millions of adolescents 20 years ago. The worship of a favorite performer by many fans who have fond memories of supporting Manson for roughly 20 years is undeniably clouding the judgment of refusing to admit the terrible behavior and actions to many people over the years. Even when Marilyn Manson, Brian Warner, admits to all his past behavior, 
people still reach and find ways to defend him. They will not stop supporting who they loved for years. There are so many arguments from Manson supporters saying, yeah, what Manson did was bad, but you know what else is bad? Everyone else in the music industry, why aren't they getting called out for it? That is a terrible argument. Pointing out that there are other many problematic people in the music industry does not somehow negate what Manson did. Those other people you're calling out namelessly does not make what Manson did less bad. Manson should still be exposed for the terrible things he's done, regardless of what other people have done around him. Can you admit you enjoyed someone's music in the past and also acknowledge they are a problematic person then and now? Yes, you can. No matter how talented they are and how much their music has meant to you, you can still understand that they may have done terrible things to others. It is possible to disassociate the music you enjoyed previously as just that, a form of art, and understand the artist is not someone you can keep supporting. Regardless of how much that art has shaped you, your identity should not be tied to defending someone terrible. Along with that, there are many people out there who are fighting anything related to cancel culture. The very idea is sickening to them. But what happens when the person accused of being unfairly canceled or the target of a witch hunt admits to what they've done and has stood by their terrible actions for years? Even now, Manson and his lawyers are trying to move for a blanket settlement for every lawsuit against him for these major allegations. Side note, people who are completely innocent and are victims of a witch hunt don't try to make a collective settlement to buy people out for silence. Okay, just making sure that's very clear. Also, this is absolutely not a witch hunt. In witch hunts, those who were deemed as witches actually were not and in the end suffered falsely. That doesn't qualify here as we know what Manson has done several times over by his own admission. Regardless of how many album certifications and awards a musician may have received, that does not somehow counterbalance abusive behavior. You cannot excuse wretched actions because you like the beat and industrial vibe of a song. Think about what you are arguing. When Kid Rock continuously says homophobic slurs for decades and his defenders reply with, yeah, well, he's given a lot of charity money to Detroit. So? That does not excuse his terrible behavior. Why are Marilyn Manson fans desperate to ignore terrible actions because they love or used to love the man's music? There's one big point to take into consideration when asking if Marilyn Manson should be canceled, and that is, even if Marilyn Manson could be canceled, he's not going to be forgotten. Canceled does not mean forgotten. For better or worse, Marilyn Manson has had too much of an impact on pop culture and the music industry for over 20 years, regardless of how the content is viewed. Other musicians who have done terrible things are not completely forgotten about because of the impact they made on music. As for being canceled, this is an age where the public at large wants people to be held accountable for their actions. And when a person has spent years seeking attention for shock and also being open about his abusive and deviant behavior, it begs the question. Should Marilyn Manson be canceled? We are absolutely going to find out more of Manson's behavior with these ongoing investigations and lawsuits, so don't expect the recent house raid and hard drive removal to be the end of it. Again, I have intentionally danced around the serious accusations with proof, without proof, and admitted to by Manson. It's a lot. Please check out the links in the video description if you want detailed information and timelines of everything presented thus far. I will leave this question for you, and in the comments, you can answer however you want. Should Marilyn Manson be canceled? Big thanks to my patrons and a special thanks to Chris Doman. You can have a say in upcoming videos, get weekly new music playlists, and see videos early by supporting Rocked on Patreon. Please click the link in the video description for more info on supporting the channel. Please subscribe and ring the bell to get notified of upcoming videos and you can keep up to date with Rocked on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Also, just want to repeat my statement that if your argument consists of, yeah, Marilyn Manson bad, but other artists are bad, that's terrible. You are smarter than that.